I, I know, I know what somebody's gonna comment or someone's thinking in their head, well, I can do that with one arm tied behind my back, blindfolded, while I'm hopping on one foot. Look at that edge, man. Holy cow, right? That was one long edge on a hot summer day. Whew. Gotta stay hydrated. Look at my hat. I'm pretty brutal on my hats. I'm always banging the top of this hat or all my hats on when I walk into the trailer, you know, it's higher. I just don't duck enough. I'm used to ducking under a certain amount. And then when I put this hat on, I forget I'm always banging on there and banging under branches of trees. Whew. That AC feels good. It's chilly. I don't know about landscapers, but real lawn care providers use AC so they don't pass out. Oh man, I need a haircut. Anyway, let me turn this AC down a little bit. Ooh, burr. When you're sweaty, that a AC uh, is crispy. Anywho, just wanted to say that edge, there's no way to maintain an edge like that with a trimmer. I, I know, I know what somebody's gonna comment or someone's thinking in their head well i can do that with one arm tied behind my back blindfolded while i'm hopping on one foot but i mean that's got to be the exception not the not the norm not the rule so unless you're that guy i recommend using an edger when you have edges like this because it's so much more productive like look i can throw down some edges with a trimmer like like nobody's business but i can't necessarily do it super quick unless there's already a well-maintained groove that i've created over you know the weeks or whatever but when you have lawns like this where they're always thick grass and there's this bermuda grass and weeds all mixed in there they all overgrow the edges and there's just no way to really get a clean edge with a trimmer without going slow and steady all the way through you just can't zip along um, without missing a spot here or there or you know having a wobbly line or something so for me, just getting that, using the edger blade, I can just zip literally right on through, just up and down, up and down, just work my way through all the edges in like a fraction of the time it would have taken me with an edger. Now again, obviously everyone is more skilled than others at different things. The edger is pretty much dummy proof. I mean, you know, obviously you can't edge like the concrete, right? You know, you have to stop when you actually get to the end of the edge. So as long as you have people that can comprehend that and you know you tell them that, hey, make sure you stop when you get to the end of the edge so you don't chew up the blade and fly sparks everywhere and mess up somebody's walkway or driveway, I think we're pretty good. Just you know, tell them to get it in the groove there and just run it all the way through, slow and steady. And then the more you get used to it, the better the edges get defined, the faster you can go. And then those edges just look crisp and 
you're done. So not only do they look good, but it's quicker and efficient. I mean, I can make them look just as good, if not sometimes better. Sometimes I like how an edge looks with a trimmer better than the edger. Depends on the grass, depends on, you know, driveway, walkway, whatever. Uh, depends on what mood you're in, um, the way the sun hits it just the right way, and if the moon is, no, I'm just, anyway. Um, but for consistency sake and for money making productivity sake, you have to be efficient. So when you have crazy long edges like this, just get the edger blade out if you don't already have one. I would think of investing in one. They're not terribly expensive. If you have a combi unit or the Echo PAS attachment series, go ahead and get an, a blade attachment. Or if you're thinking of getting, if you don't have one of those attachment series and you're thinking of getting a new trimmer or something, go ahead and invest in one of the attachment series because trust me, I've got I've got a pole saw, I've got articulating head, hedge trimmer, I've got the grass trimmer head, and now an edger blade. So I've got four attachments for one combi unit. That used to just be my FS90 and we converted it to a combi unit. All we did was just take the straight shaft out and put the combi shaft in and now we're good to go. So the FS90 power head, more than enough power for the majority of your attachments. Obviously not for digging dirt or anything. If you're gonna put the bed redefiner or some of these other heavy duty attachments on there, the FS90 is not a good choice for those. You wanna get you know, a 110 or 130 for that, but it's good to invest in something that you can add attachments to. Because as you grow or you come across these things, oh, now I have a whole bunch of lawns with these crazy edges, man, I wish I had an edger blade. Oh, go ahead, you can just buy an edger attachment and you're good to go. Or if you already have one, swap it out and you're good to go. Anyway, that's my spiel. Let me know what you guys think. I know there's all kinds of mixed opinions for edger blade, trimmer, whatever you know there's one armed bl blind w hopping willy over here that is just like yeah i can do that all day every day in my sleep you know and it's just like yeah keep dreaming but comment down below let me know your experience your thoughts i like both i like edging with a trimmer when i have small shorter edges but when i have something crazy like this it's all about getting out the edger blade and it's also good for the noobs because they can just kind of give them something hey what can i do here edge this and they just go because trimming and edging edging with a trimmer for a noob not a pretty sight you got to work them up to that so anyway again i i digress as always like comment and subscribe i don't know and ring the bell so that you get notifications <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later keep trying new things and be a rookie for life